Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we are diving together into Master Premier with 4 teams in total so that you can see what you should be afraid of, what you should not and of course learn your core breakers for every team composition. No team has no weaknesses but today I have a surprise for you because one team out of those 4 is gonna be absolutely unbeatable. So that's why I will recommend it to you and it's all up to you for the outcome. With that said now let's see what we have for the first team showcase because Metagross is leading an amazing line with Gerados and uh, the guard jump as our closer. So recently we had uh, Shadow Gable and if you were lucky you might have one as your uh, closer right now for Master League but uh, to be honest uh, I do not have one so I'm just gonna showcase the regular one and I think that the uh, upgraded Shadow one is just gonna perform much better able to one shot many more opponents. Uh, however with the regular one you can still play this team uh, you're gonna be uh, on a very good uh, uh, side of pressuring with your charge with your charge attacks even with a non sad one and of course you can rely on your uh, Metagross and Gerados core to rotate around those two Pokemon in order to uh, draw out something like a Tokigis by switching into your Drango Breather the Gerados and of course doing so you can farm it down with your Metagross leaving the room uh, empty for your Garchomp in order to sweep whatever remains at the back. As a core breaker I have another Gerados here because Gerados is the main counter of Metagross for this format of course can kind the wall down Garchomp on the end game and your main answer is gonna be only the mirror battle and of course that's why you want to have Drango Breath on your Gerados. Some Geradoses might uh, run Waterfall which is gonna be a plus for you since it's gonna be uh, a much uh, easier matchup for your own Gerados because Drango Breath is definitely gonna do more work than Waterfall. That said for the first team so let's see what we have into the next one. Fighters are not gonna be around that much for uh, Master Premier, but still when they are, it is always a surprising element for the opponent. So we're having one up on the lead for our next uh, team showcase and we're gonna pair it up with Orsa Luna and Mamoswine. Our backline is definitely weak to fighting, but we're gonna take advantage of the absence of that fighting and of course we still got a lot of charge attacks to threat even a fighter because this is Master League uh, level after all and everything can survive even super effective moves and at this point we're gonna be able to pressure a lot with high horsepower from our, from our Orsa Luna or even double Avalanche and even a second high horsepower from our Mamoswine so you can see as to how you can utilize this team and of course with a fighter up on the lead this team is gonna work super good against other steel types which are just gonna dominate the meta. You got the coverage for the flyers as well with Rock Slide, with Avalanche, with Powder Snows or even with Ice Punch over Thunder Punch for your Orsa Luna because if you didn't know this season uh, Orsa Luna can land Thunder Punch which is gonna give it ice punch excuse me which is gonna give it more coverage against the dragon knight which is uh, absolutely crazy if you ask me but i still recommend using thunder punch over ice punch because uh, you're gonna need it for extra coverage against water types and one of those water types is gonna be a core breaker for this team go lisopod which we're gonna talk a little bit later on in this video is gonna be the main core breaker of this team able to resist mostly of our pressuring uh, most of our pressuring uh, fast attacks and charge attack so yeah there goes that and right now we're gonna focus into the next one because I have a goal support team just for you. Excels are a problem for Master League level whatever that format might be because with classics out of the way well Master Premier also relies on Excels a lot and of course you're gonna need it for the next team showcase with Tokigis which hopefully had the community day speaking of community days we are having Haxorus and right now we're gonna use goal support as a closer so this team applies a lot pre a lot of pressure with its fast attacks and also has deadly charge attacks especially with liquidation able to debuff the opponent alongside the breaking swipe which is the community day move from Haxorus. Now uh, this team is gonna struggle mainly against Magnezone but the synergy is already there you can easily draw out something like a Dragonite out of your opponent with your Haxorus aggressively switch in there and of course uh, by having a backline that can wall Metagross you can definitely gain access to coverage for your talking if you ask me, this uh, uh, team's uh, synergy is absolutely insane. It is kind of glassy, I know, but still, uh, it is so safe to use if you can uh, rotate uh, properly around your uh, Haxorus. Because even against a fairy type on the switch, you can still debuff it all the way with your breaking swipes, and this is totally worth it because then your Tokigis will farm it much easier so that your goal support will be left with two shields for the end game. So, Magnezon here is obviously the core breaker 
because it can simply wall down uh, Tokigis has a very good matchup with a simple wild charge up against our goalie support but of course it is gonna struggle against our counter user and mainly our Haxorus so it is gonna be a core breaker but only up on the lead because at the back is the, it is definitely manageable with that said now let's move forward into team number four and this is the line that I was talking about from the start of this video this team has no core breakers at all other than Wolverine which is not gonna be around at all and also against Wolverine you have some deadly charge attacks from your backline to cover its weakness uh, so yeah totally a very nice team to use with Dragonite up on the lead, double seal at the back on the face of Metacross and Excadrill this team I think gets all lay on PP poke if not 1B but it doesn't matter uh, Dragonite is still gonna be able to press or even the steel types when it has energy with superpower uh, or even something like a Momo Swine on the end game so you can see as to how you can utilize this team aggressively switching out to your Metagross will most likely draw out something like a Gerados to be honest so that your Excadrill will be on a much better spot on the closing part and of course you can easily finish off a Gerados with your uh, Dragonite so the synergy is already there and the backline can also protect your uh, Dragonite not only from the Ice type Pokemon but also from those fairies which is pretty in it if you ask me this team is absolutely insane i recommend to you no weakness at all i have here wolverine i repeat but it doesn't matter it is not a big core breaker on it or anything else so with that said trainers this is gonna be the end of this video just be sure to write down in the comment section which one you like the most and what is your secret sauce just remember that my battle submissions are always open for you to submit some battles and with that said trainers thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go and of course subscribe to my channel if you are new to my content with that said i have right here two videos for you to check out so feel free to do so and i will see you all into the next one